It feels wonderful. We've been in America, bringing it home for me. Um, it feels really great. I've got my family and friends here. I'm very excited for everyone to see it. It was really Jeff Nathanson's script. I love Trudy, but I love the world that she lives in. I love the people that she's surrounded by. I love the way she faces obstacles. I love the way she overcomes them. Um, I feel like this film is a tribute to sports people. It's a tribute to family, and it's a tribute to the real woman that um, swam the channel. She was the first woman to ever do so. Um, I feel like it's um, there's something for everyone. I think if people love sports movies, they'll love it. I think it's a family drama. Um, but I feel the feedback has been that people feel really invigorated and want to try swimming or want to try something maybe they haven't done before. So hopefully it's going to make people feel hopeful. It was amazing. He is ever um, enthused. He is incredibly enthusiastic. He loves, um, loves the story. He's very detail orientated. And then you've got this very intimate story on this very large scale and he balances them both very beautifully. Uh, I didn't overcome it. I, I squashed the fear. Uh, I put the fear in a little box inside myself and um, had an amazing sports system around me who I'd go and panic to and then I would get back in the water and carry on filming and then after we were done uh, the panic came out. I mean honestly it's all the people I'm seeing tonight. It was wonderful, a wonderful team just across the board, crew and cast. Uh, I can see Jeanette, who plays my mum, who's absolutely unbelievable. I can see Sean, who plays Effie, unbelievable. It was really an embarrassment of riches. Um, a joyous, um, exciting ride. Uh, well, I was looking for something for my kids, really for my daughters, to some inspirational story that could speak to them. And I sort of stumbled across this great book by Glenn Stout in a bookstore and was instantly blown away that this was a story I didn't know, that my family didn't know, my friends didn't know, nobody had ever heard it before. And so it was kind of shocking to me that Trudy was not known you know, around the world. And so set out to, to change that, and eight years later, here we are. At the beginning, this was supposed to be a very small film, uh, low budget, very tiny little movie. But then we got Daisy, and Jerry Bruckheimer became involved. And suddenly we had a wonderful director named Joachim Ronin come in and suddenly our little movie became really, I think, an epic little movie. So it's, uh, it's more than I could have ever imagined from where we started to where we ended up. I'm so excited. Uh, inspiration, underdog, and impossible. Um, I was sent the script and um, you know just thought it was the most incredible story and um, desperately wanted to be part of it and, um, and was lucky enough to have a meeting and kind of you know share my ideas and, and it went from there. Um, he was really involved, he loves music, he had loads of ideas, he was um, yeah really really involved in music and he was great and um, I, you know I had an amazing experience working on the film and, and his ideas were brilliant and the film looks so beautiful and Kind of cinematic and I think that was a big inspiration for the music and for the scope of it was to try and match that uh, beautiful look that he created. Um, I think there were, I kind of almost saw the film in like two halves musically for me there was the emotional side of it and kind of Trudy's uh, emotional core and her family and her sister and trying to really sell that love and that you know um, support and nurture and then the other side of it was just trying to find a really exciting, propulsive, sports kind of theme and really just make the swimming as exciting as possible and, um, and, and make it feel, you know, like kind of her athleticism and her, her strength. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think exactly the, the, the same things. I, there's a huge amount of emotion in the film and I think it was wanting people to really feel that emotion at the right time and feel particularly her connection to her family. Um, but then I wanted it to feel exciting and I wanted it to feel bold and I wanted to, them to feel her strength and her, her kind of just how impressive she was physically what she was doing and how bold she was. So I wanted the sport, I wanted the sport to make people you know, feel that, that force. <gasps> um, oh, okay. Um, excitement, um, hope and um oh god i would say life affirming but that's two words sorry life affirmment 
probably working with Jerry. I think that that was just such a, an amazing experience and to kind of see how he approaches things and see how he responds to music. I just learned so much from, from watching him. It's, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited and I'm so thankful and um, it's a huge gift to be here in London and we have been on the 16th of May we have been in LA all together and to have my family back you know um, yeah it's it's a huge gift to my character is I mean what I already said I am mother since I'm 21 so and being a mother is for me and I think yeah a, a wonderful an amazing an adventure and Gertrud Ederle the mother of, 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 of uh, Trudy Ederle who crossed the English Channel you know she has so many different facets she is on one side she has a huge heart she has a lot of humor she's also very strict but um, and she has a good dose of fearlessness and I think this is very important to show your children that you can embrace fear and um, yeah that you uh, that it's, it, it can be a friend, it can inspire you, and then you can overcome fear. And she's supporting her children, her daughters and her son, and she's defying her husband, concerning that she wants that her daughters learn to swim in a time where the girls normally learn the dog paddling, like swimming like a dog, and she wants her daughters to learn the English crawl. Uh, American crawl, sorry. I think that we all can learn, and that I mean, we can teach our children. If the teaching, if our children will listen, that's another question. But I think when we we make a journey to our inner self, we all will find out that we have all the tools to put the purpose of life uh, into practice. Our our desires, our dreams. Yes, to embrace challenges and risk and fear, and to. To, to realize that you can fulfill all your dreams when you really believe it. And take your time, I always say to my children, take your time to find out who you really are. And it's important to say, I think, to inspire them to do what they really love. Because I think if you follow your joy, everything will be fine. And to stay in the here and now. This is one thing I think we all should do, because in the here and now, uh, we find a solution for everything that happens to us. Oh, I think it's a film about what you already, what we already talked about. It's a film about adventure, about fearlessness, about a peaceful revolution and love. Forwards, but I hope it's fine. I, I have to say, I was thinking about that because I was asked this question a lot of times, and I thought, no, I every day a new was for me the best thing that happened to me and my best memories is is the is the necklace of of all of, of, of all the pearls you know of all the moments i had there so it was really the whole shoot was my best memory yes daisy is really a wonderful friend you know she, i really felt a very close relationship to her from the very first moment i really start loving her as an as a partner while shooting the film as my daughter she is very very she's full of very great humor she is really full of fearlessness and it's wonderful because you you know she, she takes your hand I took her hand and then we had an amazing adventure and you in Germany we say in German we say you can steal horses together and I think Daisy is the one you can do that and she is an, a great actress and a wonderful person and nobody can stop, yeah. Well, Jeff Nathanson, who's written Pirates for us and some other things, was looking for some things for his daughters to see. He couldn't find anything, so went to a used bookstore and bought Young Woman in the Sea and optioned it and took it to us and said, I'd like to get this made, and nine years later, I'm talking to you. So thanks to Disney, we're here. Oh, he's great. He's a real visualist. He's an artist. He's a great storyteller and he did Pirates with us, and he did Contiki, so he's used to the water. It's great. She's Daisy really is amazing in this movie, and we're thrilled to have her. And listen, Trudy, who's obviously the real woman, people need to know about her. She got lost in time. She did an incredible feat. So we want to remember. Her.
She spent three months with an Olympic trainer, an Olympic medalist, and really worked hard at it in open water swimming. Well, it's, it's beautiful, it's emotional, it's funny. It's got all the things you go to the theaters for. It's the highest testing movie I've ever made, and I've made some really big movies. So you want to see it in the theater with a big sound and hear that ocean. Emotion, fun, and laughter. It's amazing. No, all of this is just a miracle. I feel any, any movie is a miracle when it's made. But like to be here and have a proper, you know, premiere and, and uh, I get to meet like people I haven't seen in a year, like brilliant, fantastic actors that have helped this story come alive. Uh, no, it's, it's fantastic. Well, I think, I mean, obviously she's a great actor and, and uh, I loved her in the Star Wars films and all that. And I, but I, I think that she somehow she radiates like a, a strength um, that I'm imagining that Trudy had, you know? back in the day and uh, it was obviously going to be a very physical role so it was a combination of so many things that I was looking for and we were so lucky to get her and every day especially out on the ocean I was like I was so grateful for having her as my you know movie partner out there and making it and I mean I'm on the boat keeping warm you know but she's in the water freezing and and doing it again and again and again never complaining always asking for more and and it was amazing well DP Oscar Fara is a genius you know and uh, he's done he's also done some water movies before and like he has experience from it but he's also such a perfectionist and I think um, always you know looking for the, the 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 perfect like like any DP it should do, but like he has this ability um, and and expertise to do that, and I, I it was just wonderful, and you can see it in the film. I feel like how we how he painted on the on the big uh, canvas, and uh, it's it's it was just such a joy to work with him. I think he's here to, tonight, and I haven't seen him in forever, <laughs> so I hope I get to give him a big hug. Well, I mean, this is something that it was very important for her, obviously, and I, I didn't have to say anything. Like, she just jumped into it with Sean um, uh, O'Connor. Uh, trained probably, for, I think, for a couple of months, at least, open water swimming. And also overcoming a fear, I feel. Uh, I think she told me after the fact, actually, I didn't know about this, that she has a fear of open water swimming. She doesn't want to go anywhere we just doesn't see the floor. So, so she had to she had to overcome that and work on that and and uh, I think you can it pays off you can see it in the film like no I I had stunt swimmers and doubles ready to go and like I never wanted to use them because Daisy had such a forceful stroke to her, to her you know when she was swimming. Oh, it's amazing! I'm so thrilled that it's uh, getting a theatrical release. That's so exciting. This is like a film for all the family, and it's a beautiful, inspiring story that should have been told before. But I'm thrilled to be a part of it now. And um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been two years since we shot it, so yeah. it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, of course. I mean, there isn't a huge amount of information about uh, my character Effie which sort of says it all, you know, there wasn't a lot um, recorded about women at that time. But she, you know, she was an activist before she was anything else. She was uh, an incredible woman. She was a part of uh, Trudy's story and she was the woman who's, whose shoulders Trudy stands on. And it's really amazing that she's part of the part of the story. Oh, definitely amazing drama teachers. Um, John Ross Andrews, give him a little shout out. Yeah, like, you know, those people that just come into your life that are, um, I don't know, they say the right thing at the right time or they just believe in you when you don't believe enough in yourself. So yeah, 100%. Favorite memory? Um, there are many. Um, I had a great time with um, with Daisy and with Tilda actually, there were a few days where we were filming this enormous parade, which is at the end of the film. And uh, yeah, we really bonded over that time. So that was, that's probably a favorite, favorite memory of mine, yeah. Defy the odds. I'm so excited to be here. It feels like a really special thing to bring this film to the UK. Um, so it's really exciting to be able to celebrate it in the place that this story is set. Yeah, it was really lucky. I met Lily and she felt like me. Like when I was growing up, I felt so similar to her. So we really got along and just spent time hanging out, really. 
Daisy's a total dream. We were, again, it's just so lucky. You don't always know if you're going to get along with your cast members, but she is an absolute dream to work with. Not only just like an extraordinary actor to watch, I felt so lucky to be able to watch her on screen sort of transform into this other person, but also just an extraordinary human being off screen and really looked after all of us. Even though I'm playing her older sister, I really feel like she took me under her wing. No, I know as an Australian that's outrageous. Um, I had to bribe my 17 year old brother to take me to the local pool and try and teach me how to swim as soon as I got the role. And then went through a very long process with Daisy and the amazing swim coach Siobhan O'Connor um, to sort of learn how to swim. So it was really, it's quite an extraordinary thing as an adult to learn a new skill like that, but I feel very lucky. Oh, that's so hard. I just laughed so much. Me and Daisy just were hysterical most of the filming. So. There was so much of it and so I think learning how to swim with her in those days in the pool, that was such a special experience. <gasps> Three words, um, inspiring, uh, three words is hard, inspiring, uh, exciting and hopeful. So um, I was I finished competing professionally from swimming um, in June of 2021. I was just trying to find my feet away from the sport. Um, I'm based in London. I was just doing some like private coaching, um, and someone put me in contact with the producers. Um, the producers were looking for someone, a female trainer uh, for Daisy, to take her for a swimming assessment um, in preparation for her film for, for the film. And I thought initially it was just going to be you know a one-off session, and then it turned into you know we started training together, um, and then my involvement with the film just kind of came from there really um, and I went out to Bulgaria for the whole duration of the shoot got to work with Daisy and, other, and the other members of the cast and crew and it was just fantastic yeah such a great experience yeah so so when we had our first session together like swimming fitness is very unique to you know you you have to put the hours in um, the miles in in the pool to build that swimming endurance it's a very different fitness to kind of like running or cycling so um, it was very much you know I knew we had to be consistent with the amount of times we were training per week in order for Daisy to build that fitness for all of the open water swimming that she was going to have to do at the end of the film and even throughout the whole production there was so much swimming not just the open water um, channel attempt swims but also all the competitions throughout Trudy's career so I knew there was going to be a lot of training needed that consistency sort of making sure that um, and, and Daisy was just so committed from like the very first session she trained so incredibly hard she really worked on her technique as well like technique is a huge thing in swimming you know really sort of focusing on having an efficient stroke making sure you can kind of maintain your stroke and be um, efficient in the water to be able to cope and, and swim long distances so we had a lot of technique focus I'd say like initially when we first started training together and then um, it was all about trying to build the endurance and um, yeah from there and Daisy was just uh, she trained so incredibly hard um, throughout all of the production throughout you know the whole build-up even when she was shooting in the studio she'd come and train um, you know and just yeah it was fantastic to work with her. I think probably the one of the very final days of shooting was when we were in the Black Sea. Um, it was the end of like nine days on the Black Sea filming the channel attempt swims. And that was kind of like everything that we'd been training for, like those like incredibly tough efforts. And it was the end of, I'd say like, you know, six, six to seven months working together. So much, like Daisy had done so much swimming at that point. And I watched her, she, um, she got in into the water and she was swimming, um, keeping up like pace with the boat. And like her swimming was just absolutely fantastic. And she just like didn't stop she could just keep going and going and going like it just showed how much like fitness how much like how hard she'd worked I think was really shown in that like that scene or that you know those those scenes at the end of filming um, so that really stood out for me because it was just like so special to see her do that and see all of that hard work kind of like you know come together and yeah it was brilliant I think it's it's such an incredible story and I think it's amazing that you know Trudy's story is is being told and like you know people are going to be able to see it she was a trailblazer for women's swimming and you know and, and women's sport in general um you know i think as a woman like who who was an athlete like it was it's such an incredible story and i think lots of young people and lots of people are going to be inspired watching you know and, and and seeing this movie you know she she didn't take no for an answer she was very like told she couldn't do something and did it anyway and that sort of like overcoming adversity is so powerful but it's also such a heartfelt film as well um you know it's about family and i think any athlete or sort of anyone that goes through kind of like you know struggles like it's your family that kind of help you and support you and give you the strength to kind of carry on and see the bigger picture sometimes for yourself and i think that really comes through in the film and 
and I, I love that and you know for me as a athlete and having that experience like through throughout my career my family were a huge part of that so I loved that element of the film just as much as you know uh, seeing Trudy's story play out. Uh, what can, um, jellyfish, um, love and strength.